Hi, welcome back to Making All the Plans. As we wrap up another busy week, I'm facing a familiar challenge. Exhaustion from a full work week, a cluttered desktop, both physical and virtual, and the allure of the weekend. However, before I officially clock out, I'm determined to lay the groundwork for a successful week ahead in my professional life, set myself up for a weekend full of progress on my passion project, and ensure a clean and organized space to reduce overall stress. Join me as I tackle these tasks and set the stage for a productive and enjoyable week ahead. As the work week comes to a close, let's first address the professional side of things. One of my go-to methods for staying productive while working from home is the Pomodoro Technique. If you are unfamiliar with the Pomodoro Technique, this is how it typically works. You decide the task you want to work on. You set a timer for 25 minutes, which is one Pomodoro. You focus exclusively on that task until the timer is done. And then you take a short five minute break to rest and recharge. And then you repeat the process, starting another Pomodoro followed by a short break. After completing four Pomodoros, you normally take a longer break around 15 to 30 minutes. This technique aims to improve focus and productivity by breaking work into manageable intervals and encouraging regular breaks to prevent burnout. Today, I'll be using four Pomodoro blocks, two to wrap up my work week, and two to start my weekend off right. The first block will be dedicated to achieving inbox zero, cleaning up my virtual desktop, and emptying out the virtual trash. Because I have not worked a full work week in the last three weeks, I will not make it through everything. I will make it completely through my inbox, but the virtual desktop cleanup and the trash cleanup will wait until next Friday. That's why I like to do this every Friday because I know that I can't get it done all the way every Friday, but the more routinely I do it, the more I am able to get done because there is less buildup. Just like everything else in life, the more you stay on top of things, the less things build up. As I process my inbox, I do go ahead and do any task that is two minutes or less. I also try to take next steps on projects if they are two minutes or less. So I'm doing all of this while going through my email and trying to be as efficient as possible as I do it. I also scribble some notes about what I do need to add to my master task list for the next Pomodoro. I will say that I was lucky since a lot of this was still vacation email and there was a lot of automated emails that I needed to just delete out of my inbox. So I was about to take my quick five minute break in between Pomodoros and grab my notebook and promptly threw a bunch of papers all over. I will find a solution to that before I am done with my next Pomodoro but I do like to get up and move in between Pomodoro sessions, even if it is just to get supplies for the next go round. I do have my tool notebook that I use for work, a clipboard with some tool paper on it and some tool pins. As you can see, there's a little bit of a theme going on here. I did decide to break my work notes out into a separate notebook. I had been keeping them in my planner, but my planner was getting a little unwieldy to carry to meetings and just not the professional look that I was going for. So the second Pomodoro block will focus on efficiently reviewing and updating my master task list. I did have one from before I went on vacation, but I really wanted to write a new list and just remove the things that I had done and collate everything into one list. So everything that I needed to address next week, I put on the left side, other ongoing things I put on the right side. And then I also had a section of things that I needed to discuss with my boss before we could move forward on certain projects. And because I plan on using this list for at least a week, if not more, I did want to make it as neat as possible. So I grabbed my ruler to make straight lines to divide the sections. Again, if there are any tasks that would take me less than two minutes, I will go ahead and do them. Sometimes they stay on the list if I have to wait for a reply email 
or other times I just won't write them on this list at all if that was the final action for whatever the task was. I did used to keep this list in Notion, so I didn't have to rewrite it once a week or once every other week. But my struggle was I don't like to take my laptop to meetings. I feel like I can pay better attention if I don't have my laptop in front of me. But if I wanted to make sure I had an item on my task list, then I would have to pull up my phone, which then I feel like is a distraction to other people in the meeting. So ignore that the Pomodoro is still red, which means that I'm still in the Pomodoro. At some point, I somehow stopped that timer. So the time is actually up at this point, but I am looking for my little folder that goes in the notebook before I call it quits. I don't really like the loose paper method, so I do want to contain it so that it doesn't fall out of my notebook again. I just had to find it, which it happened to be in last year's planner. I only have two of them. I haven't been able to find these. I think these are ARC brand and they came in a two pack and they're just a folder that have two slash pockets on them. So I go ahead and grab that and put all the loose papers in there. Most of those loose papers are like orders that I'm waiting on coming in or notes about projects or documentation that I need to update. So I like to have that right in my notebook slash work planner. But with these tasks completed, my work week is now officially finished and we're going to change views here and shift my focus to my passion project, which is making all the plans. I do apologize for forgetting to turn on my overhead light while I was shooting this, but I think you can get the gist with what I'm doing here. So the first thing that I want to do is review my Kanban board in my HB90 Loistrum to identify what still needs to be completed over the weekend. The tasks that I have already completed, I am going to move over to a new section in my notebook, I plan on grouping everything by week so that I can see how productive each week has been. So I'm just going to move the post-its over that I have completed and then keep the ones that I need to work on over the weekend. Come Sunday, I will be visiting this again and resetting and pulling my new tasks for the week. Here I've gotten with the program and turned the light on. But by prioritizing tasks with the highest importance, this ensures that I will be able to use my time efficiently. Again, I aim to keep this planning session to one Pomodoro, which is 25 minutes, allowing me to wrap up and prepare dinner for my family. The fourth Pomodoro that I complete on Friday afternoon, late afternoon, early evening, before I head down to make dinner and spend some time with my family, I do like to take one Pomodoro and just clean up my physical desk, my project table, empty the trash if I need to, take any cups or dishes downstairs to the kitchen. But a clean space not only clears my mind, but it also sets the stage for a productive and relaxing weekend. It's amazing how investing a little time up front can pay off in such a big way later on. And if you haven't seen my filming area, this is where I film all my top-down videos but it's kind of a mess from shooting the pin video. I will link that if you haven't seen it yet, but I just went over my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and put all those pins away so that I know where they are the next time I need them. And it doesn't take long, literally 25 minutes and I had my entire space cleaned up. So it's definitely worth investing that time because it'll make my next video that I need to record much easier. I won't have to either push things to the side or clean up before I get started. So I'm perfectly happy spending this time now. But once I finish cleaning up my desk area, I'm going to feel more organized, focused, and ready to enjoy my weekend by taking time to tidy my physical and digital spaces, plan out my tasks, and set my priorities. I've set myself up for a successful week and weekend ahead. Remember, a little effort up front can lead to big rewards later on. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to Making All the Plans for more productivity tips and organizational strategies. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in my next video. If you started cleaning along with me, I will go ahead and let this run. It is at two and a half times speed, but 
If you need a little more time to finish clearing off your space, I will clear it along with you. I hope everybody has a great weekend. Bye-bye.